No, oh, ballistas. Is that just, you know, that's just how it is, ballistas. I wonder, is, I don't actually don't know. Were, were ballistas all that popular for like these type of ships? I imagine in the high sea, I mean, when you think ships, like wooden ships in particular, you think cannons, right? But maybe this is before gunpowder or at least in a base on an era before gunpowder. Maybe they use ballistas. I don't know. I thought they use, uh, not ballistas, I thought they use, uh, you know, bows and arrows. Where's Fang? He has a funny hat. He doesn't have the face ripper thing, though. I could give it to him, but nah. Let's see. I would like to put the... Yeah, I don't know if there's the blood rolls. Oh yeah, the blood rolls. I didn't do much with it. Eh, oh well. I guess that's the thing I might have missed. That's fine. Put everything else in the bag. <laughs> All these, like, keys. Also necromancy spells. Supernova. Armor of Frost. Things I don't really need. This is a repair hammer. Well, if I need it in a pinch, maybe. I might use that. I wish I could sort the bag, you know? Because I don't like it when everything's not organized. Like space here. Ah. Ah, my OCD. Which is not really OCD, it's just an exaggeration of me wanting to organize things, you know? You know, people with real OCD, you know, they have it tough. Anyway. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Just wondering what else to put in the bag. Any chance? Some socks. Okay. I get some socks. Amazing. What's in here? A hat. Mm. I would like to see another merchant, see if I can sell something. Sell my, the rest of my stuff as well. Uh, who are you? Leva? You're, oh yeah, Leia, whatever. You're like the Gare fangirl. Sweet divine. Ah. Oh, oh yeah, you oh, and Duggan were like together. Interesting. Interesting that they have a dialogue for this. So certain characters, if they die, you know, NPCs actually interact with that. That's interesting. I like that. Some kind of little bit of dynamic gameplay, you know? That's kind of cool. Beast? Okay, I saw you before. You were trying to like get some kind of wooden plank from a part of a ship or something. You have a funny hat now. Good for you. This boat treasure. Mm. I wonder what happens in the end if, you know, it seems like all these companions, all these source characters, you know, source origin characters, if they all live at the end, do you have to fight them? You know, they all like. Okay, now you, only one person gets to be god, now to put you in a battle royale, you know, and there's like a giant circle that shrinks, and now you all have to fight. It's one giant battle royale. We have to find a way to get this ship moving. Mm. We can't let you have money? Oh, you have money. Alright. We're too weak to fight them again. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Let me just sell you stuff. <laughs> You're just a vendor to me, okay, Exter? I just need to dump stuff on you so that I get money back. So that I can use that money to buy other things later on. Which might be a little bit rude, I must say, but you know. I gotta get things moving here. Um I don't know if I need these rings. These rings seem good. Are they better than my rings? My ring of glory is good. I don't know if I'm gonna keep my ring of attention. In fact, oh yeah, I'll put the purging wand into my bag as well. And probably, well, let's see. Get my money real quick. My money. My money. Let's see, I'm gonna put these uh, purging wands. I don't know if I'll need them in the future, but I'll put them in my bag. I'll put this ring of intelligence as well. Probably take off the venom rune. And then put it in my bag. So if I need like that one, plus one intelligence to use a purging wand, I'll do so. That'll be what it will be for. And I will put one of these rings on. Air resistance or plus one wits. Mm, it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just get one wits. This gives you a little bit of critical intelligence. Or critical intelligence? No, critical uh, hit chance. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, build a virtue. I don't know if that's good for Sybil. I don't have Sybil on my team right now, so I can't see her equipment. Do I need to find her again? You know, so she'd be on my team or something. 
I also, oh yeah, I forgot to equip her with, uh, with an amulet, actually. Though, I can't remember. I, th I think she had her own amulet that she had on inventory, so I don't know if I need this necessarily. I should probably just sell this. Probably put the Taylor's Quest over there, too. That's a quest item I need to keep, I think. But yeah. Quick save. Quick little save. Go down below even more. Let's explore a little bit. Just want, I just want to see who's even here. I don't know if I missed anyone. Did I? I think I already, I already went here, right? Yeah, this thing right there. Went, went around the wrong way. Over here is like back up. There's Ifan, you know. Oh, I was gonna say, he looks like he has a different hair. Is that a different haircut? No, that's just, he's just wearing a, a skull cap. Dallas' assistant? Hmm. Are you, oh, you're a silent monk. That's what you are. Are you a silent monk? It's hard to tell because you're a lizard, but I know you're a silent monk because of the, you know, your face. The silent monk leans from one foot to the other. Okay, he's, mm. Well, you. The silent monk leans forward slightly and. St okay, they're just mindless dolls. Just, we're just more mindless, you know. Well, mind slaves, I guess. As it turns out, the lizards keep slaves. The humans keep slaves. Everyone just has slaves. Mm. Probably not the good guys. You know, it, it is kind of an indicator. Any civilization, any faction that keeps slaves, they're probably not good people. I don't know. I mean, because of the Divine Order. You know, the, the, the whole thing was like, you know, we're gonna save you guys. We're gonna, like, purge the source from your bodies. And you're not gonna be a threat anymore. Because normally, if you are a sorcerer, which I always, by the way, I always, when I see sorcerer, I always think of, like, like a traditional sorcerer, like in Dungeons and Dragons. But, no, it's like a different name on its own. But, but yeah, if you're, like, a sorcerer and you have source in your body, we try to save you, right? But really, what they're doing is profiting off that by creating a bunch of sword slaves, aka the silent monks and whatever, you know? Looking at this thing, what is this thing? Attack it. What's over here? Farquin? Are you Farquin? Tarkin, rather? Not Farquin, Tarkin. Teleporter pyramid? Weird. Can't go this way, because this way is locked too. So apparently, um, this might be a, like a locked off part of the. Ship or something. There's something to these doors I'm not seeing. But what? But what? Pyromancy stuff? Okay. Oh, I keep pressing escape to escape from dialogue, but that doesn't that's not how you do it. The God woken, right? Then maybe you can find a way to hmm. How did you get hurt by the way? He has 87 HP for some reason. Someone attacked him. Who are you, Sergeant? Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. Hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it for them. So, what'll it be? Hmm, okay, so I know what this is. Yeah, okay. So you can make like a generic NPC for yourself. You know, if you want to like do hard cold, or hard cold? No, hard core roleplay, you can make like a, a blank slate NPC for yourself. So you can just add like another character. You can just add another OC. And then you can ship them together and just, you know, make them make out or something. I don't know, like, like, you, like you're playing your dolls or something. I don't know. But that's fine. I don't think I'll make another, like, blank character. That sounds kind of cool. I don't know. It could be kind of cool to just make your own, like, all, all your characters are just custom. That would be an interesting playthrough. It'd be kind of weird, though, because then you'd be, like, role-playing for each character for yourself. I guess, in a way, well, when you think about it, there are these type of uh, games where you could do that, you know, type of like role playing games. They're kind of like Dungeons and Dragons. Normally, Dungeons and Dragons, you would play with other people, right? As like a GM and other players. But you, there are certain games where you could just play by yourself. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, but you could just make characters for yourself and just roll the dice for yourself, make your own story, like a solo campaign, or you just make your own story. You know, We've it's the thing with like a lot of like um, lust for further adventure. What say you? What say Shall we you? Continue our journey together. Yeah, join. Yeah, join us. Join you're me. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sibylla. Okay. Anyway, if she left my party for some reason, I guess you can choose your companion during this time. But yeah, like a lot of like tabletop playing game or tabletop role playing games. 
um, it tends to be like if you didn't know, you would just make your own story, right? It's like unlike a video game where everything's kind of written for you and everything. The whole point of having like a GM, for example, like a game master or a dungeon master is that they kind of make the story for you, right? As the player. But again, there's these kinds of solo campaigns where you just kind of just, I don't know, make your own story for yourself. I don't know how it works exactly. It sounds kind of crazy again. To like just make your own story, you might as well just write a book, you know, at that point, but I guess it's a thing you do. Hmm. This is just put this on, I guess. And uh, yeah, might as well, yeah, she, she hasn't, by the way, she hasn't upgraded a helmet this whole time yet. Here's a helmet. <laughs> you look silly. Huh? Look at that, look at that. Tree helmet. Looks like she looks like a druid. Eh. Do that. I prefer her just like that. I don't know. This looks silly to me. This is, I don't know. Maybe it's because, you know, specifically elves, I guess. Wood elves. I don't know. I prefer well, the helmet on. And she needs to put a necklace on, right? For the thing. The necklace here, Emily of the Void. Which was, which was better? Hmm. I mean, I guess this one's slightly better, so I'll put that on. Right. This one's to sell, I guess. A little sword. You know, I don't know why I put this. I might as well just leave here. I don't, know, I, I don't know why I put the identifying glass in the backpack. There's no point in doing so. I guess that's it. Right here. There you go. You keep saying that. It won't save you. Why do you have? I ought to chain okay. you up like your lot did to me. I was gonna say, why are you wearing a tree on your head? No, it's a, kind of like a feather cap, I guess. Enough. Ranley and Alexander. So is these two are alive, I guess. Enough. <laughs> you know, that's what she said. Enough. Hello. A young woman shifts. Oh yeah, you're the the crazy person that has like ghosts inside her or something. She rubbed her eyes, roll up to meet yours. Their great black pupils, greater and black. Yeah, she, she, she keeps like being possessed by spirits. Hey, it's you. Well, 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 we meet again. Oh, uh, well, well. Ah, uh, goodbye. I'm not interested. Again, these are people from the, you know, companions you can pick and also you play as as well, but I'm not interested, really. I'm not. Hmm, there's a weird mirror here. There's a few things. There's a mirror, there's a door you can go through. Hmm. Let's talk to you. Where, where are you? Where's the sergeant? Well, not sergeant, but this person, Constance. The seeker flexes her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. Oh. She sees you draw near. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here, not guarding Alexander the bloody divine himself. She nods her thanks and immediately winces. Laying her hand on the back of her neck. Hmm. Let's see. Cast your eye around. Ask if there was this white mattress kept the secret prisoners locked up. She's been in some pain. Was she injured? There were the bars. Hmm. I'll open the gate. Yeah, we have a bargaining chip, I guess. Or a big bloody target on our backs. We took their leader and their flagship. The hammer won't stand for that. She'll be hunting for us. Hmm. Well, I mean, I say, uh, you know, bring him on. I'll, I'll, I'll use my own hammer against the hammer, and we'll see what happens. But uh, how about the other prisoner? I don't know who she is. The seeker throws a toxic look at the imprisoned. Toxic, magister. toxic community, toxic player. Mm. Oddly, she's just some deckhand. If it were up to me, I'd tie her to the main mast and use her for arrow practice. But Malady. Wants her alive for now. Hmm. Are you in a while? Why are you in some pain? I wish. No. The Magister's kept me chained to the bulkhead. Arms held above oh, okay. me. Okay. She's just a little. To touch the deck. She just need, to needs to, to stretch her joints, I guess. Um. I don't want to open the. I don't want to open it yet. Though I, I imagine maybe she says you know, no, or maybe or something. I want to talk to them first. So Hello. The Magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. She notices you observing her. 
She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Girl, okay, she's very angry. You want to trade though? She can trade. You can buy some water off her. You know, she seems very much fed and hydrated despite being a prisoner. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions. Stow your questions. Okay. Uh, you're no seeker. But always get rid of those who help them. She knows how to get this move. They might look more kindly. She might be shot to find some tending to divine himself. Or is... Yeah, I'll just threaten her. Just, just threaten her. Magister Ranley. Corker's mate of the... How about you shut the hell up? The Magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. Hmm. Well, I don't know. The clear is simple. Either she tell you what she knows now, or you have to start playing her rough. Clave, you overheard my lad declaring she have no choice but ex execute the prisoner if she wouldn't help them. That's lying, I guess. Intelligence. Uh, points to Alexander tell her that she ought not ought to uh, antagonize her captors. Issued the wine with divine blood in her hands by proxy. Her constitution. Say the sacreds aren't so bad. Did you want to go home? She helps. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Okay. I mean, intelligence is my worst stat, and I don't have any persuasion. But, uh, it seems like this, I mean, it means always the smartest one, I guess. It's probably a bad idea, but, um, you know what? I mean, you know, strength is my best stat. But I, I think the way it works is that, I don't know. I, like, it really depends on which option you choose. Depends on, um, like, uh, on the, on the success rate. I guess. Especially if you don't have any persuasion. You know, it kind of reminds me of, um, which game was it? I can't remember which game it was. Was it like Deus Ex? Deus Ex Human Revolution? I think it was kind of like that. Like, if you had, like, a lot of persuasion, if you had, like, a particular skill, it would be pretty easy to just pick the one that, you know, gave you the best chance. But if you did not, you know, have a like, character based on persuasion, you would actually have to suss out what kind of option would work for a particular character. So I'm thinking, because she's so worried about Alexander and everything, I feel like if you threaten the thing she's trying to take care of, that uh, she'll be scared. But I don't know, it might not work. Because I was, I could do strength, just learn her, but I don't think it would work. Because, she, you know, she doesn't seem to care about her own stature in life. I imagine in Divine Order in, in particular, is a very strict hierarchy. So instead, how about I threaten your, you know, your important person here? Ah, oh, failure. Okay, never mind. That doesn't matter. The last thing. The Magister's stare hardens into an intense scowl. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence vessel. All right. The Seeker has removed. You must be starved for company to linger around here, friend. Hmm. You and half of Rivalon, friend. No, he hasn't awakened yet. No. Open the gate. Yes. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold. And the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. All right then, just don't make me regret it. No, you're gonna regret it. Cause the, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smack her now with my hammer. Hope you find something useful. Save. Time to start smacking. Him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Uh, point out that she's alone, unarmed, and tell her to back away. Memory persuasion. Yeah, no, I'm gonna just murder you now. Okay, hey, work. Okay, that's what All you do. Right. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. <laughs> Probably because I hit him there. Um, yeah, look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. Mm. Look at his look at his clothes. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. Look at his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. Okay, time to steal your, your gem, I guess. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Thank you. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire. The bishop's wife. Okay, that's it. i talk to you some more. Magister Ranley, Corker's ma Okay, well, good for you. Well, it worked. I didn't have to murder you, necessarily. 
That was a door? Yeah, one of the Sybil was gonna be stuck there. The door's not locked the anymore though. Removed one of her gauntlets in order to flex her wrist. It bears inflamed marks from where oh, from when she was uh, captured, I guess. You must be starved for company to linger around here, friend. Hmm. Don't worry. As soon as she changes her tune, you'll know about it. Okay. Well, you know it's funny. I don't think there's a way to relock doors, so that door is gonna be unlocked forever, I guess. Oh well. We have a gem now. I don't know what a gem does. It's probably important. A strange gem. An all black gem found in the person of Alexander. Probably a good idea to keep it, maybe. What's his mirror? I think I know what his mirror is. I think I've heard of it, but. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah. So you can, like, basically remake your character real quick if you wanted to. You could, like, re move your stats and re input them or whatever. I don't know. You could, like, change yourself into, like, a shield person or a ranged character real quick if you wanted. Hmm. What I kind of want to do is, yeah, I did want to do this. Do I need telekinesis? I don't know. But I want more lucky charm. Me lucky charms. Goodbye, telekinesis. I can't... Okay, from gear. From gear, okay. So everything is from, like, gear. And also bartering, I guess, is from... My race stat. Just put everything in, uh, you know... Civil abilities and into lucky charm just so I can find extra loot. And everything else should be okay. I think it's fine. Everything else is just I'll keep as normal. Do I have any leadership? No, that's from gear as well. Okay, that's fine. Talents as well, I think it's fine. I want more I want more talents though, is the thing. Instruments is fine. Do I change my hairstyle? You know? We I don't know. I don't know if I want to change my hairstyle necessarily. I don't really like most of them, to be honest. Eh. Fine. Let's keep this one. It's, I don't know, every time I... It seems like a, a lot of NPCs have this hairstyle, though. You know? I remember the Dallas, you know, the Hammer has this hairstyle as well. And Simone, too. Everyone just seems to have this hairstyle. I don't know. Anyway, just accept. Just slightly change my stats right there. Mm. Do I need to change any of Sybil's stats, by the way? I don't think so. I think she's fine. Sneaking theory. Yeah, I think she's fine. I don't really need to change much. I really want to make a, like a very completely different build, maybe. I think it's fine. There you go. So that's what you do if you want to like change what's your this? stats. I found something. Oh, what's this? Under a plank? It's money. Okay. And I mean healing Why motion and poison flask. I can find. Hmm. What's over there and this over here? What's over here? The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Hmm. Is your door now? The wood groans and creaks. For a moment, you square a face appears in the wood. A fucking door tortured and tormented, a six sided shape carved upon its forehead. Hmm. The face vanishes. Okay, so use the the gem. State the password. Have a password? Fortitude? Oh, maybe it's from the diary. I don't know. Hmm. The door stays resolutely. I was wondering like if I go over here though. I mean if I go over there, it seems like it's locked. You can go over here, I guess, but I don't know, I don't know if it matters, but how about where we are? The door seems like any door. The wood grows, the face vanishes. Hold the gem. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. Put the gem in this forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure. Okay, in a shudder of pleasure. to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. Da. Uh... Fortitude. Yes. Okay. And yes again. I assume it's from that diary we read before. Spoken. Welcome to the state. To be honest, I don't really remember why the password is fortitude exactly, but I think it's when uh, the diary was like uh, about the magister, you know, listening to Dallas or whatever, and she was talking to the wood, and maybe she said fortitude. I don't really remember exactly what the book said. One yeah. more moment, please. Here's Tarkin. 
You sell anything? You do sell stuff. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Carver. Bows. Oh, we have a, like a better sword. I kind of do. This one's a common one though. It's not really strictly very much better, but slightly better, I guess. I don't know. I would like, you know, a way better sword if possible, or a very better weapon anyway. Mm -hmm. right. I sell these though. Yeah, I'll sell these. I'm live with the void. I don't think I need that. I'll sell that. And sell this glorious ring. And just give me whatever. Anyway. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. It's funny, you know, it's funny how like I just instantly just meet this stranger somehow in this part of the ship that nobody's been able to get into. And I just, you know, do a little bit of bartering before we introduce each other. And there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? Mm, reach for your weapon. Don't be too hasty, friend. Won't you at least listen to me before you draw your weapon? What are you doing here? I'm a prisoner, of course. Do you think I'd be here of my own free will? Okay. That infernal Dallas woman left me trapped here. Too weak to escape. It seems I'm in your debt. Hmm. Armor... Ship is immobile. Do you know anything about that? What did Dallas do to you? And yeah, why are you here? Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting, and uh, more arcane practices. She kept me here to do her bidding until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. You're her personal slave? Oh, yes. And she could be a most cruel mistress, I'm sad to report. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. She used some form of domination device on me, mm. forcing my hands to do her bidding, and I've ruined them in the process. I guess she likes being, you know, she likes dominating people. Anyway, um, what do you do? Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature, all the sorts of things power-hungry oh, despots love to do. She had me enchanted dead cat over there, so it would seem alive. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. But that damn contraption that she used on me seems to have fogged my memory. The rest is a blur. Enchanted dead cat, are you a necromancer? No! Necromancy is an unsavory practice. Seems Not like something, to something a lot of people can do anyway, though. This is but a cunning illusion of my own creation, nothing more. Nothing more? It's totally not necromancy. I'm totally not a reincarnation of Brachis Rex or anything. Don't worry about it. His face abruptly creases into a smile. But come now. Enough of Dallas and dead cats. You've taken this ship and granted my freedom. This is a happy moment. Yeah, what are you going to do now? How about you tell me something of yourself? I'd like to know just who my valiant rescuers are. Mm, it's none of your business. If he's insulted, he hides it remarkably <laughs> well. Very well. We're all entitled to our secrets, I suppose. I mean, you're not privy. I ought to continue what I'm to doing. Who I am? Unless there's anything else. You're indebted to me, buddy. Um, how about you? How about you be my personal slave? Anyway, uh, say that's rather convenient. Can't remember anything more. Tell the ship is immobile. Yeah, it's rather convenient. You don't remember anything. Trust me. Convenient is the last word I'd use to describe the experience. Pass me that copper wire there, would you? No. An unseen force yanks the copper. No, he uses telekinesis as Jedi powers. Catches it and offers you a thin smile. Butterfingers? I'm afraid I truly can't remember anything. Now, unless there's something else you want, I need to get back to my work. I don't believe you. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Hmm. You're dangerous. Well, you're painting me into a corner here, friend. And I don't like to be cornered. Anyone who faced enslavement deserves our sympathy, not our blades. Leave him. Why is Sybil so nice? You know, she's always all about murder and bloodshed. And nowadays, she's just so goody two-shoes. Gosh, Sybil. 
mine. He takes your hand in his gauntlet-clad fist and shakes it. There's a lot more power in his grip than his slender frame would suggest. Call me Tarquin, and consider me at your service. Hmm. Sure, I'll let matters lie for now. There's likely not a soul aboard this ship without secrets they'd rather keep hidden. Why should I face more scrutiny than the rest? I just I just think you're the reincarnation of Brackus Rex, but... Well... Well, pardon me if I don't put too much stock in your feelings. Feelings? Knowledge, facts, discerning, educated opinions. That's what I put my faith in. Well, the fact is, is that you're a stranger on board and nobody knows who you are. And therefore, you're a danger to everyone on this ship and we shouldn't really trust you, you know? If I really... You know, acted on logic and facts, I should just kill you right now. What level are you? You're level 8. Yeah, I could probably just kill you. Anyway. I don't know. And you know anything about Dallas? I must admit, despite what she did to me, I can't help but admire her a little. Everyone just really the likes Dallas. Is unwavering. She will break before she bends. So if you should cross paths again, be sure to leave mm. her broken. You will not get another chance. Okay, be sure they'll, you know, break her skull. Uh... What about gauntlet? What are you doing with the gauntlet? No! This piece is far beyond what those wretches could muster. This is something of my own design. Okay, it's his own custom-crafted gauntlet. Amazing. The Magisters left me weakened. But this will help give me the strength to carry on my work. Okay, so he's mainly just a trader. I mean, we've already seen our stuff before, I guess. He has an alright sword, or alright weapons, I guess. Not really what I want, want right now, though. Spear. Hmm, or a helmet. In fact, this is way better, actually. But, you know, the problem is that if I don't wear... Well... Eh, I don't know, we'll see. Because if I don't wear the whole set properly, then I won't be able to... Not, you know... Resist the curse. Anyway, I guess he's just a trader. He's just there to trade, for the most part. Put this gem in there. By the way, I've noticed this whole this thing, right? But you know this thing. I don't know what you call it, but you know these pictures. It's kind of like uh, when you chose a difficulty, you know, in the very beginning of this game. Now there's that, I guess. Hey, what's in here? What's this? I found something. A skull. And also she uh Dressia found something, a trap door. A fight? Secret room. Hammers pets? Okay. Alright. I wasn't thinking that we would be here already. Sure. Maybe we wouldn't be already fighting out of nowhere. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Sure, let's do a little bit of fighting. You know, there's been a lot of dialogue on this ship. Might as well break it up with some violence. I was itching, you know, to smack someone with my hammer. Okay. And now Sybil will go over here and backstab this person. Or I say person. I don't know if this counts as a person anymore. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it's funny though. Even though she has the rapier and everything, she still holds it like a dagger. So it's kind of like a... It's like a reverse hand rapier. That is not... You don't do that with rapier. It's not right. Oh well. You don't hold the rapier like that. You poke with it. You don't s slash with it. Reverse grip. As far as I know. Let me just do this. Good knock down the other one like so. And then... Uh, yeah, in my turn. Alright. Yeah, how does she use it? Yeah, she uses it like that. It's weird. You don't use a rapier like that. Oh well. Yeah, like so. Provoke you. Can you stop hitting Sybil, please? Smack you a bit. In fact, I could provoke and use shackles of pain. I wonder how that works. Does the AI know what to do with that? Will it hit me anyways? Gag order. Oh uh, yeah, I still hit Sybil. That's not great. Uh, the king. Does first say... 
It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, does not help with the king, unfortunately. Do this though, and dodge everything, and then just do, I don't know, sawtooth knife, a miss? What? Fine, I'll do this instead. If you move, it'll be bad for you. Chameleon cloak. I guess I can do this too. Bye, -bye. I'm invisible. Can't do anything. Not that it matters because I'm just gonna kill you anyway. Both, I fear. Both, I fear. You know, I wonder if it's better. I don't know. This is a very small cosmetic thing, but is it better if I put the dagger rapier over there like that? Does it look better like that? I don't know. Because it's just weird, you know? She's using it wrong. You don't reverse grip a sword. Oh, well. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much, I guess. I mean, it happens all the time in movies and even in anime. Normally, you don't reverse grip a giant rapier, you know? You may use reverse grip for, like, daggers. You know, using reverse grip for daggers does make sense. Because that's how you puncture, like, armor and everything in real life. At least in medieval times. But, like, reverse grip rapier? <laughs> that does not make any sense at all. I feel like. Also, I've, I took a package and put it in my inventory somehow. Whoops. Then I did find that ring as well. Anyway. What, 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 like, what was in here? A, what, I saw like a jar of mine maggots? A jar of mine maggots? Hmm. Apparently it's useful. Can you like throw it at people or something? I don't know. I get mine maggoted. Let's read this book. Beautiful calli calligraphy. Hmm. Also this teleporter pyramid by the way, I don't know... Does it teleport you to the other pyramid, by the way? I saw in the, um... I saw in the other room. Bluegill mushrooms. So, Rival of the Void Woken. He came in here. Death Fog. Hmm. Um, it's uh, sheets of paper. I was gonna say... Pizza paper? That's not right. See, pizza paper. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna... Take this. Hmm, a pyramid? What on Rivalon is this for? The link to each other. Open and use it to teleport to its pyramid. partner. Only one way to find oh, out. It interesting. Works. So it's like kinda of like a free teleport. And you use it in kinda of like interesting ways, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. And I'll just take these a cell. Logbook? What's this? Madam. Impish pyramids. Uh, oh, this is instructions. These are instructions for the pyramids. Using one pyramid teleport you teleports you to the other. Connected entities will follow whoever has initiated travel. It can use a pyramid while holding it in your hand or interacting with it while it rests on the ground. Touching a pyramid isn't sufficient to use it. One must access it, its other functions by another method. This is all I have discovered. Okay, by Tarkin. Okay. Tar oh, it's Tarquin's like artifact, I guess. He was using it to experiment and stuff. Over here. Anything over here? There's a ladder here, but it doesn't go anywhere though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do anything. It's a place you can go. Yeah, I assume that's it. It's over here no. I assume maybe if you use the yeah, if you use the uh teleporter pyramid over here, you would teleport, you know. Inside that uh weird place. It's up here though. I just go over here, okay. Another pyramid. Another pyramid. Oh my my uh oh help. I'm stuck. Help. Help, Sybil. I'm stuck. Can you like um well I can probably do this. Use my big brain and do this. It requires a lot of AP points though, so it's probably yeah, it's something you use. Off battle, you know, out of battle rather than in battle, I guess. You know, sometimes I wish I could just like right click and just go into their inventory, you know, just to sell things because I don't want to like, you know, do the whole thing where they talk. I just want to sell things. You have these jars, of, yeah, you want these jars of mad maggots? I don't need them, so you can take 
And you know what? I don't need this. Anything that's like for mages, probably not gonna use. Yeah, this is based on intelligence. Nope. Rallying cry. Probably not gonna use summoning at all. So summoning will be go away. And probably, yeah, this one's also like a mage kind of spell. So I will sell that too. And you know what? Uh, probably should raise the attitude a little bit. Because I'm thinking maybe we'll go back to the ship. It's kind of like a hub world, I feel like. Base of operations. So maybe I'll give a little bit of attitude, you know? Cause, so I'll get a discount in the future. Also, this. Sweet Mercy. Mm, not as good, actually. Gives you a little bit of HP, though. I don't know. Where is it? Sweet Mercy. So is that any good for any of you? Mm, Dragon's Twine. Not really. 17? I guess it's better magic armor for this. Uh, sure. I'll do that. But she won't be, yeah, she won't be able to use the spell for Pyrokinetic anymore if I do that. That's fine. No, I don't want to sit. I can't sit on him. I'm glad I want to talk with him and trade. Doubt behind you. There is the a thing we need here is more the thing. Unpleasantness. I don't know if I need to keep that. I'll put it. Oh, I can't. I always forget you can't do that. You can't do it while you're trading. Um. Yeah. Sell this. I think. What I'm gonna do. I don't know, keep like, a little bit like that. Like that. Sure. Like a better attitude. Likes me better. At least in terms of trading. That over there, I don't know if I'll use that anytime soon. It looks, you know, it looks rare. You know, it's glowing and everything, so I guess I'll keep it. But otherwise, I probably won't be able to use it. Also, yeah, my heart bar is very large um i don't know let's give this to you potions i really don't I'm, I'm i don't know if i'm gonna use any of these potions like all these potions give medium air resistance you know maybe in a particular situation but you're never sure if you're gonna fight someone that's gonna shoot lightning at you necessarily you know Mm. Anything else? A lot of like, I don't know what you call it, a lot of um, housekeeping, you know, sort of. I feel like we had that one battle, I guess. Otherwise, just a lot of this. Um, actually, yeah, she doesn't have anything extra to add. Oh, that's fine then. I was thinking, like, could I add, like, another skill that she can use? But no, she cannot. That's fine. Do a quick save. And, well, I mean, let's get this ship moving. You know, I spent a lot of time just on this ship. I uh, can't go there. I do want to go over here, though. Seems like there's something else you need to do over here as well. I mean, this is like a, a pile of gold right here. Seems like a lot of gold. Probably just, like, 100 gold or something. Probably less, maybe. I don't know. For security reasons, please. No. Oh. For security reasons, please keep this door closed? I can't go there anymore? Any? Can I, like, close this door? Hmm. Weird. So if you open that door, you can't go here? I mean, that's fine. I can just do this, right? I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I cannot do that. How about if I teleport? Can I, te I can teleport, right? No, I cannot. Hmm. No, that's fine. I think, well, how about we just go here? Because I think uh, it's affected by line of sight. But, um, because it's affected by line of sight, as long as we can see where we're going, we can teleport to where we need to go, right? I, uh, I assume, anyway. I think. Do something like this. Like so. Whee! Ta-da! You can just jump through with that. That's fine. It's a raid two-hander. Might as well grab that. Anything in here? What is that? Gauntlets? Plate glove. Eh, might as well grab that. Two, uh, about, about 300 gold. 
Amulet of the Rose. Purple necklace. Lavender necklace. Empty potion bottle. What's in here? You know, I, actually, I should have used... Um, I should have teleported Adresia here. Because she has Lucky Charm and everything. The whole point is that she should be looting everything, actually. Eh, oh well. For security reason. Okay, fine. Just teleport back. Wee! Whoop! Whoop! You know, just, I don't know how that works. This is, we're in the ship, so... She literally just smacked her head against the, the floor of the ship, you know, upstairs. And they went back here. Oh well. That's fine. Hmm, that's a full healing potion. Seems good. Um, what am I doing? Let's see, I want to see the loot, actually. Anything good here? I actually just caught mostly common items. Yeah, it's not that great. They're just mostly common items. I guess I'll put these plate gloves for now, in case I might need to switch up my tyrant armor in the future. It is... Oh, it's not better, but yeah, compared to this, actually. It is better, yeah, it is better, but in terms of numbers, anyway. I don't need these. This over here. Serrated two-hander. Hmm, maybe. Let's put it in my, my inventory for now. Yeah, put the rest of these over here. Do 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 do. Alright, I'm not, you know, I'm just looking. This game is like 50% tactical combat I'm and then 50% of the time you're just going through your inventory the last thing we need here is more is I feel as though you do things. that's fine uh sure he doesn't have a lot of money but that's fine give him a bit of attitude just give him some stuff that was already on the ship you know he could have just went in there himself he probably has an ability to do that maybe he seems like a powerful mage probably just took those items in the first place for himself but you know I'll, I guess I'll do the labor for him and he'll like me better for that you saw what I could not it seems the malady is quite right about you mm, you're impressed I hope you found something or someone useful inside I mean you can just look right there go in talk to him I mean he seems dangerous but uh, that's fine right anyway what else can we do I don't know I mean, I think we saw what we saw, at least the bottom there. Is uh, Alexander still unconscious, by the way? I mean, I imagine some time has passed, maybe. I don't know if he's awake. Look. Actually, he's, uh, bottom. I thought he was on the second floor, but no, he's over here. Let's see. Is he... Uh, no, he seems to be still sleeping. Actually, can I examine him? Sleeping. Permanent. <laughs> okay. Cannot move. I could hit him. I could just kill him real quick. Probably a bad idea. I could kill him, but isn't it better to torture him for information? You know, make him suffer for a little bit, you know? Can I talk to Melody again? Probably, well, I could have asked Tarquin about the ship as well. I don't know. There you are. I was just thinking. This is Dallas's ship. There's a way to move this ship on board, I'm sure of it. In the subject. I've uh, unlocked Alice's quarters, by the way. Indeed? Excellent. You've shown some ingenuity. Now show me more and search every corner of those. Please don't. Hmm. Okay, well, okay, apparently there's more to do. Because I was thinking, like, maybe you talk to the figurehead and you would just... You would just win, you know? But maybe there's more to do there or something? I found the teleporter pyramids, right? I don't know. Let me go back real quick. I want to... I should probably just talk to Tarquin. Because I think there was a dialogue option where you could ask him about the ship. I, I, I was assuming he I'm wouldn't know, but... Oh, uh, yeah, there's no option for it now. Okay, never mind. Maybe I already talked to him about that. Is there anything else around here? There's a Trappist farming kit? Uh, I'll probably grab that real quick. A gold pile? Oh, this table's a gold pile, I guess. Grab that. Actually, there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, empty potion bottles? I'll probably grab that. Grab that. It's a leather. Attack. No, not read. Draft. From the desk of Dallas the Hammer. Be warned. Subsequent to the bloody atrocity committed at Besson, shall all seekers be stripped of the titles and privileges once afforded them as members of the Divine Order. Hmm. Okay. Seekers were. Okay, I didn't know that actually. Seekers were once part of the Divine Order? Weird. 
The mistake must not be repeated. Let's self leave Meister in Driftwood. This is not. Okay. Well, it's a little letter, I guess. Give me that Pepsi potion bottle, please. Thank you. A lot of wine. I guess she likes her wine. Old Alice. A dusty tome. Can you read it? Hmm. This is written in what appears to be an ancient dialect of the lizards. Oh, okay. So probably if you're like a lizard yourself, or you're the Red Prince, you could probably do something like that. Ooh, medium healing potion. That. And notes. What's this? Confidential. Medical log from the death of Niles, house physician. Oh, Niles. Oh, yeah. Niles the defiler. I guess he's a physician. You murdered him. Because I don't think he's a very good physician, though. He tends to change his patients into monstrosities. But, uh... Round one, normal style. Approaching applied to sorcerer. Result? Typical. They died, apparently, I assume. Uh, approaching applied to non sorcerer, and then they died as well. Well, it says typical. I don't know. I guess if you apply purging to a sorcerer, maybe they become a silent monk or something as well. I don't know. Maybe that's what happens. Round three, modify staff. Approaching applied to sorcerer. Typical. Type E. Uh, applied to sorcerer, and then they died. Okay. So they didn't die necessarily, as, as I said before, but. I assume they turned to silent monks or something. And logic modification and failure. Yeah, just some notes from good old Niles, I guess. Picture, 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 thick book. You know, she did say, you know, find something. Oh, hey, scroll. Mm, unfamiliar language, no. Thick book. Thick book or. It says there's a thick book around here. Used to read? Oh, right here. Okay. It's hard to tell sometimes. Must never forget all the citizens. Blah, 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 blah. Thus, there is not monarch alive who deserves his or position. But you say, my answer is very simple. Let the people rule. I love democracy. Uh, ancient book. Hmm, no. Illegible book. Okay. You know, I'm just trying to find... She said to look around here for answers and clues on how to, like, uh, make this boat start moving, but I can't seem to find anything. Hmm. There's a locked chest over here. Some more empty potion bottles. Might as well grab them. There's a book over here. Book is unreadable. Okay, unreadable book. Amazing. Uh, what's inside here? Nothing there. The bed. Sleep on the bed, maybe. Yep. You know, just have a nice, relaxing I've sleep. I've spotted something. Ah, yes. Oh, you smell something. What'd you spot? Oh, oh, this? What's this? Is it a trap? Looks like a trap. Or actually, it's a... Well, it's a... It's a button, actually. What's it do? Oh, what is that? What's this? A button. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Actually, I could probably just put something on it. Uh, can you do this? Yeah, do that. So that does that. Oh, no. Well, it didn't work. Do it again. Well, it's not heavy enough, I guess. What's heavy enough? Can I move this? A pause. I had thought it's too wicked. No, no, no. I don't want to talk to you, necessarily. I can move this chest, I guess. Can I open the chest? It's locked. Attack the chest. A lock. Okay, fine. Sibo, try picking a lock. I don't know if she has enough thievery to do so, but... No, can't do it. Oh, well. That's fine. I'll just use this chest, actually, to, uh... Open that. Right? I thought it would work, right? Where is it? Normally when I, you know, stand there, there's a button. It shows up. I guess... Did not work? Hmm. Yeah. Only like a person can like do that. Okay, fine. Sibo, you stand there in that place. Oh. Sibo. Sibo. Over there. Just, uh, look at this herself. I don't know what this does. I assume it, maybe it, does it just open the... Yeah, it just opens this. Okay. Not that important. It just opens the thing. 
I mean, I already been here, so <laughs> I kind of cheated and just went through here by teleporting. So never mind. Hmm. Anything else? I mean, there's this chest. Should probably just open the chest. I would like to just hit the chest with like... Because I don't like to use my durability, you know? What's this? She has this fossil strike, by the way, from her equipment. Do this. Just hit it with fire. Did that, did that do damage? I don't know. How much damage does, can that take? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, fine. I'll hit it. Don't take so long. Or can I? You know, this seems yeah, yeah. This seems like an invincible ornate chest. Seems oh, I can oh, I didn't know that. You can like uh, use your mouse wheel to rotate the object. By the way, <laughs> interesting. Anyway, yeah, I can't seem to like open it. I can't seem to break it. It has no health bar, as far as I know. It seems important, by the way. Can I just pick it up? <laughs> just put it in my inventory real quick. Things are pretty heavy, but I, I guess I can just put it in my inventory. You know what? Why not? Keep the chest in my inventory until I can open it. <laughs> yeah. Just carry it around until I get the key, maybe. Somewhere. Somewhere there's a key, so maybe. Key in here? No. That will be too easy. Yeah, I don't know where anything is. I can take a quick look over here again. We've been here before. But maybe I need to take a more thorough check. Ooh, a key. There's a key right there. A charming arrow? <laughs> That's funny. You can charm. Literally be Cupid. Amazing. Yeah, we read that already. Anything else? There's the book. I think we read that book already, right? Couldn't read it because it's yeah, unfamiliar language. Anything else? What are these? It doesn't say. When I press Alt, you know, left Alt. Usually it tells you, right? But... Nothing there. Yeah, I don't know. I have the key though, so I assume that key is for the chest, however. Yeah, it's for the chest. Oh, but it's not really all that important. Steam lance? Steam lance. Okay. Put it in my bag. Alright. You know? Not very fruitful, to be honest. It's alright, I guess I found some loot. Oh, a ring. Huh. Okay, got lucky. <laughs> got a lucky charm. Amazing. Just find really good loot, uh, just in a random uh, drawer. Speak if you wish to. Oops. I mean, there's a lot of dialogue. What about this? What should be your next what move? Use Fort Joy had has been spent. Yeah, let's let's go across the sea. Wait across the sea, so by all means, let us sail. Hmm. Where's home? Home, there's no such thing. I hail from the land that was, the kingdom of fog, the grave of divinity. The kingdom of fog. If ever I had a home, it has long since gone up in the smoke of death fog, along with so okay, many. Okay, that's some lore, I guess. A lot of the elves got murdered by Deathfall. We saw Deathfall before, I guess. So, you know. No home, except everywhere, really. <laughs> the world is mine. Hmm, world is mine. mine it's a Hatsune Miku song. She looks expectant. Yes, you may bow before the Queen of the World. Sure. We, the Queen of the World, smile upon thee with favor. We dub the Knight of the okay. Needle. Okay. Literally, lady. this is, this is very nerdy, to be honest. Literally role-playing in a role-playing game. She takes you by the hands and laughs heartily as you stand up. <laughs> How kind of you to play along. We won't forget. Okay. Literally like a slice-of-life anime scene there. I don't know. I don't know exactly what to do. I'm just gonna go to the freaking figurehead and force the answers out of it and I don't care if I burn to death 
I don't know what to do. I never went here though, did I? There like a, isn't there like a corpse around here? I guess not. No, I said there was a corpse on the other one actually. Over here. Did I check this one yet? Maybe that seems important, you know? That's, this seems conspicuous. There's like a dead corpse up on the platform over here. What do you call it? The mast or something? Or, I don't know. Oh, actually, well nothing. Never mind. There's nothing. As it turns out, there's nothing at all. Well, let's go over here. Hmm, let's see. Do I have a fire resistance potion, <laughs> you know? Uh, it doesn't seem like. I can't really do anything. What I can do is, uh, well, might as well maybe throw a bit of water over because I'm assuming I'm gonna get struck by fire. So I might as well put some water over there so it gets a bit wet. Get a little bit wet. I assume. Am I wet? No, I'm not getting wet. Usually when you stand on the water, you get wet. Before you is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon. It looms over the bow, its fangs bared at the open sea. I'm gonna look at it. There's an odd mark on the side of the figurehead. Battle damage, weather staining. It almost looks like a pattern, however. Battle damage? Hmm. I'm gonna touch it. Searing pain races up your arm. The ship senses you. It's angry. It's angry? Well, too bad. The pain intensifies. It's oh. spreading past your arm, across your chest. Your lungs feel like they're on fire. Well, uh, that didn't work. We just burned it. <laughs> we just burned. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, hello, Oni Chan Wanabi. Uh, am I Kim Star? I don't know what a Kim Star is. What's a Kim Star? Anyway, you got any clues? Okay, you, I actually don't know. What do you do? <laughs> I thought I knew the solution. Just explore a little bit and then we move on, but I guess not. Um, you learn anything useful? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. You should learn nothing. As it turns out, the... Uh, hmm. Let me talk to Malady again, real quick. No, this is harder than I thought. I thought we just like, do like one little thing and we just move on already you know to the next place wherever we're going i don't know where exactly we're going but we'll see i guess there you are i was just thinking of you indeed excellent this is dallas's ship there's a way to move this ship on board i'm sure you'd be surprised a ship like this the figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately but then it okay. please don't I never touched this yet. Can I touch it? Oh, it's just burning. I do to deserve that. It's just, just burning. Never mind. That's all that did. Huh. I'm confused. I'm confused. Well, there's just a few dialogue options I haven't done yet, technically. Mm. Where should I go? Let me talk to Tarkin again, maybe. It's a lot of back and forth, I feel like. But, um, let's see. Um, Arkan, can I talk to you again? There was something about, like, trusting you with secrets or whatever. Fine. I'll, I I didn't want to hear your entire sob story, but. Well, not really a sob story, but. You know. Fine, tell me about you. You're barely acquainted. Why should I tell you anything personal? Hmm. You want revenge against Dallas? A flicker of hesitation crosses Tarquin's face. He glances down to his wasted limbs. You're most persistent. Perhaps our past will pit us both against the hammer. We will see. But don't claim me as an ally just yet. My allies tend to die. Oh. Okay, well, that's it. That's just a bit of more... fleshing out of his character, I guess. But that's it. There's nothing else. <laughs> Why is there nothing else? Don't know what else to do. Loose plank. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. find something useful. The seeker has removed one of her gaunt. You must be starved for company to linger around here, friend. You and half of Rivalon, friend. But no, no. they had a stand below, chained up in the dark. 
but the rats hmm. were up to something in here. Maybe it was just the lack of food and rest playing tricks, but oh, I swear I heard chanting and ugh, horrible moaning. Horrible going. moaning. But when we broke free, it was empty. Okay. Don't worry. As soon as she. Mm, not much else. Magister Ranley. She's not gonna say anything, obviously. Was there another? I mean, there was that hidden, you know, thing. That hidden, uh, little thing. I don't know. It's a thing. It's a thing. You know, the the little hidden floor hatch where we fought the uh, the guys, the geises. You know, there was that one. Do I have to explore that again or something? Hmm. I'm going here again. I don't know. Is was there anywhere else to go around here? Is there like a door I missed? Passageway or something that will help me? I don't know. This is a book. Can I just grab the book and give it to someone or something? Let me look at my journal actually. I'm kind of lost. I have no idea what I'm doing. For the moment. Uh now that we're in, we should search Dallas' stateroom thoroughly. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do, I guess. Hmm. Passwords of fortitude. Okay. I mean, this is where we're on right now. Search her stateroom thoroughly. Kinda did, though. Kinda already did. I feel like. Unless I missed something. I can't. I was looking at. Well, I was wondering if this was a note, but I can't take it. That's just these things. This is not. No, I can't click on it. That's nothing. Okay. How about I grab some books? I mean, there's one book. Maybe and I give it to the Red Prince. That seems like a stretch. I feel like. Because normally the Red Prince, you know, you could like accidentally kill him is the thing. So like. I don't know. What script is this? Whatever it is, it appears to be written in verse. Oh, wait a minute. You can... Okay, so is that part of it? Is that you're supposed to get this? Okay, so it's, it is the lizard book. For some reason, I thought you were supposed to... For, I thought it was like an exclusive thing only for lizard characters, you know? It says right here. The book is written in what appears to be an ancient dialogue of the lizards. And that's all I saw, right? Lizards. Okay, done. But you are supposed to, like, take it? You're supposed to maybe... Sing to the boat? Is that what you're supposed to do? Uh, I don't know. Alright. <laughs> I'm a little frustrated because I didn't realize you weren't even supposed to do that, but uh, I guess I mean, I don't know. maybe you were supposed to hear that hint, for example, if you were interrogating the prisoner and you chose the right persuasion. Maybe she would tell you that, oh, you know, I, alright, alright, I'll tell you, Dallas sometimes sings to the ship or something, you know. Maybe. Maybe you would hear that hint. Otherwise, though, I would have no idea that you're supposed to sing to the ship. Sounds crazy to me. And also, I've been reading those books. Mainly because, um, you know, I always right-click and read the books because I don't want to clutter my inventory. But I guess you were supposed to take the book. Which is weird because I, well, you know, I already, I, I read the book, right? I, I did read the book. I just didn't put it in my inventory. But I guess you were supposed to? Assuming that's correct, let's see. Yeah, we found a songbook in Dallas's you know, state room. I don't know. Alright. I assume... Well, let's see what happens. We sing to the boat? Is that what we're supposed to do? Continues its vigil over the seas. Sing the boat. Sing at the boat. It looks like it could turn around and incinerate you at any... The deck beneath you groans and trembles, like the ship itself is awaking from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably the sound of a living being. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, you know? There's a little boat as well, though. It's kind of like this whole talking dragon thing as well. You... You are not the witch. You are not Dallas. Uh, I can understand, you know, you know, being mistaken for Dallas. However, we do have the same hairstyle. You sang the song. Now you must decide my fate. Are you to be my new mistress? Yeah, sure. Of course. You sang the song. Now I am yours. 
We may sail whenever you wish. All right. The Let's just move awake. on. Good. Is she ready to sail? Yeah, let's go. A slow, toothless smile stretches across her face. Toothless smile. To driftwood, then. Hmm. Your last chance to change your party? Yeah, I have my party. To driftwood. I don't know why we're going to driftwood necessarily. I guess to meet up with the other seekers is what we're gonna do. Yeah. Time to go. Certainly is. Forward. Let's go. Finally, you know, that was the whole thing, whole light ordeal. The wind in their sails, the god woke and watched Fort Joy shrink behind them. Okay, I was wondering if we were gonna be, you know, on a different island. I was thinking, like, maybe the game ends once we get off the island or something, but no. There's more to do. Also, ship battle? Are we gonna have a ship battle or something? Like a fight a little kraken, maybe? No. Oh, we're just right in a battle right I here. Respect your metal, sorcerers. You steal my ship, kill my bishop and ally with demons. But you have no idea what you're really Also doing. she's talking to Sybil again. Stop talking to Sybil. Talk to me, the main character. We are ready, mistress. Oh, cloaked figure. Okay, he seems evil. Yes, but are they? I swear, mistress. I swear they'll perform admirably. Admirably. I'm totally not psychotic. Very well. Show me. Goodbye, sorcerers. Yeah. I won't see taken from under my feet. You act. All right, everyone dies. The love of the void. Listen up, we can't win this one, but I can guess us to safety. You need to buy me time. Show us what you can do, Godwoken. Godwoken? Parasites, rather. I'll take care of it, mistress. Okay. We are now... Oh. Just like, thrust right into a battle right away, I guess. Out of nowhere. Dallas can't do anything. She's just over there, you know. But all right, this is uh, this is what happens, I guess. Um, she's gonna power up, and apparently, maybe you know, she probably do the whole teleport thing. She'll teleport us away, maybe. Maybe we're gonna abandon ship. I don't know what's gonna happen. We just have to survive, I guess. A magical bomb. 